My name's Arlene and today what I'm going to be looking at is converting the equations of parabolas into the actual parabola itself. But I'm also going to give you some hints and tips that's going to help for other graphs that you do at National 5 and higher, including functions and graphs, um, logarithms and your sin and cosine graphs. A lot of the rules that apply are actually applies all through them. So I'm going to try and help you with that today. Okay, so what we have here is a normal parabola, or a, a happy parabola, as you've probably seen. And as you can see, it kind of looks like that. It's just like a, um, a big sort of dip in the road. And what I'd like to do, first of all, is just kind of explain quickly where a parabola comes from. Now, this is the equation of a basic parabola, y equals x squared. And basically all it means is, whatever x is, if you square that, you'll find the y value. So when x is 0 y is obviously 0. When x is 1, to get y, if you square that, y is also 1. When x is 2, we square that, you know, because y is x squared. So when x is 2, if we square that, we get y, which is 4. So this explains this side. When we get to the negative side, because y is x squared, when x is negative 1, if we square negative 1, we get positive 1. If we square negative 2, we get positive 4. And this is basically how we end up with the, the shape of our parabola. Now, what I'm going to now do is I'm going to look at the different parabola graphs that you can be expected to be able to draw. I'm going to build it up gradually. Again, like I said, with the principles that you can apply to other graphs as well. I'm looking at this next one here. And we've got y equals x squared plus 2. Now that plus 2 on the end, so if it's a plus or a minus on the end, that refers to the graph moving up or down. So because it's plus 2, it just means that the graph would move up by two places. So it would move up to the number 2. So outside the graph means moving up or down, but inside means moving left or right. So if I go back to the original y equals x squared graph, when I have x take away 1 all squared, take away means moving left or right, and then take away actually means moving to the right. So we move to the right by 1. When we look at here, some of the hints and tips we had for the sin and cosine graphs, when we had the x minus in the bracket, the graph is moved to the left or right according to this number. A negative sign means moving to the right. A positive sign means moving to the left. So we're going to keep this in mind in our parabola equations. I'll, go, I'll put this back to the centre, put it back to the y equals x squared. What we've got here is more likely the type of questions you're going to get or the type of equations you're going to see in parabolas. Basically the inside, like we said over here, is moving left or right. And as I say, that principle applies to any if you're using cosine graphs as well, sine graphs. Inside the bracket means left or right. So first of all, we've got x plus 2. So it means we're moving 2, but then the positive sign means moving to the left. So you're always the opposite. So it's moving to the left by 2. And then that plus 3 means moving up by 3. Sit slightly like that. So just to recap, inside the bracket, if it's positive, you move to the left. If it's negative, you move to the right. The outside is to do with moving the graph up and down. The next one we've got here, so always recenter the graph to here. Um, we've got x take away three all squared, take away five. So take away three means moving to the right by three. And take away 5 means moving down by 5. So this is where it would be. So the turning point is basically 3, negative 5. The next one we've got, we've got y equals x plus 4, all squared, take away 6. So plus always means moving to the left by that number. So moving to the left by 4 and take away 6 means moving down by that number. So we just about can get it on here. 
So when it's outside, it moves up and down, but it's always just if it's plus, you move up. If it's minus, you move down. Whereas inside the brackets, it's always the opposite. So plus is to the left and minus is to the right. In this one here, we've got um, y equals x take away 7 all squared plus 6. So take away 7 would mean moving to the right by 7 and then moving up to 6. Now this one might be quite difficult to actually place but it'd be moving up to the number 6. This one here, plus 1 means moving to the left by 1, plus 4 means moving up by 4. This one, take away 5 in the bracket, move to the right by 5. Take away 1 means moving down by 1. So basically your turning point in that is 5, negative 1. Your turning point here, negative 1, 4. This one, 7, 6. Negative 4, negative 6. 3, negative 5. Negative 2, 3. Okay, so I'm going to come down to this one here. So plus 6 means moving to the left by 6. And the negative 2 means moving down by 2. Um, I'm going to get some more. The other ones we have here, we've got x take away 2 all squared, means moving to the right by 2, and plus 1 moving up by 1. So the turning point there would be 2, 1. This one here, a plus in the bracket means moving to the left by that number. So moving to the left by 7, plus 5, moving up to the number 5 here. This one, take away 4 means moving to the right by 4, and minus 4, moving down by 4. Now, as I said, these rules apply. Like when we're in these graphs up here, these equations up here, when we had plus 90, what this meant was we moved the graph to the left by 90. This one meant we moved it to the right by 90. This bit on the end, because these were in the brackets, this affected us moving left and right. But this on the end meant moving it up by 1. So if it's on the end like that, you're moving it up or down by that number. In this one, you're moving it down by 2. And in this one, moving it up by 3. Now these rules apply in all your different graph, uh, graph work that you have to do in the National 5 and higher. So it's worth bearing in mind. So I hope this has been helpful. Please like, please subscribe. Please feel free to email any suggestions of other, um, other videos that you would like to see in my channel. Okay, speak to you soon. Bye.